Hey, 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 YouTube. It is your girl, Miss Brandy 1525, and I am coming at y'all tonight with a requested video. I had a couple of my awesome subscribers uh, ask me to talk about my low carb slash keto lifestyle. Uh, I'm not calling it a diet, I'm calling it a lifestyle um, simply because I realized that. In order for me to stay a healthy weight, I'll be fighting this battle forever. So, I just got to change the way I eat for the rest of my life. So, uh, as I said, I eat a ketogenic, uh, low-carb uh, type of diet now. Um, meaning, I watch my intake of um, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Okay, those are the three areas that I watch in my food. I keep my carbohydrates at 5%. I keep my protein at 20%. And I keep my fats at 75% of my meal. Now, before anybody say, oh, that's too much fat, da da da, da I only do the healthy fats. And fats is just a, for me, it's just a... A goal I don't go out of my way to hit that many fats every day just because um, personally I'm not sure how healthy it is I'm not a doctor so uh, I do healthy fats like coconut oil avocado oil MTC oil which is uh, medium chain triglycerides um, the coconut oil I do that uh, and real butter, which I've always eaten real butter. Uh, I don't believe in margarine. Uh, anything that don't spoil uh, flies ain't attracted to it. I'm not eating it. So <laughs> I've always done real butter and considered it a healthy source of fat. All my ancestors, all my relatives have eaten real butter and longevity running my family. So it just is what it is. Uh, <laughs> how long have I been doing this? I started doing it April 25th, okay? But I was not doing it right. I didn't know the percentages that I needed to be at in a meal. So I didn't know that I needed to have 5% of my plate be carbs, 20% of my plate be meat, and 75% uh, of my plate be fats. So I was not aware of that and... I kind of wasn't doing it right, so I messed up, and I really wasn't losing. So, like, the first two weeks I did it, I really didn't lose nothing, okay? So, I did what I call a reset on May the 2nd. When I got my macros in order, and those are the percentages that I'm talking about, when I got my macros in order, that's when the weight started coming off uh, almost at a pound a day, okay? So, so far I have lost 10 pounds, and that is since the second so it's been like 16 days and 10 pounds in 16 days is excellent i feel like that's healthy weight loss and i would be happy very happy to lose 10 pounds a month i know that uh some people when they start low carb they get a big flush of weight loss really fast in the beginning and that weight loss is water weight well, being that I am a person that has uh, high blood pressure, I take a water pill every day anyway. So I knew that I wouldn't have this huge amount of water to flush off me because I take the water pill every day. So I wasn't expecting to lose 20 pounds in the first two weeks. I wasn't expecting that because I don't have the water weight to lose. All I got is fat. <laughs> Everything on me is fat. Ain't no water. I can't make no excuses for this. It's fat. Okay, so uh, let's talk about what I eat. What I eat is everything that's on the perimeter of the grocery store. I do not eat any prepackaged foods with like the exception of butter and heavy whipping cream. Um, but I don't eat the prepackaged foods anymore. No more hamburger helper, no more macaroni and cheese. I don't eat any flour, sugar, rice. Um, pasta, none of that, N potatoes, nothing that turns into sugar in the body. Okay, so what I eat is real whole foods. I eat um, broccoli, cauliflower, summer squash, zucchini, 
Uh, I'm getting ready to try bok choy and asparagus. Um, and then I eat meats. You can eat all kinds of meats. I eat meats. I eat cheeses. Uh, I don't really mess with a lot of, uh, well, any dairy, honestly, besides cheese. Uh, I don't drink milk, so I don't do that. I can't have a bagel, so I'm not going to get no cream cheese, you know, so. <laughs> you know, if you can't have a bagel, what's the sense of eating the cream cheese? That's just how I feel about it. Um, yeah, and that's what I eat. So, a uh, typical meal for me would be a salad um, without carrots, because carrots are high in sugar. But a salad minus the carrots um, with a baked chicken thigh or a leg quarter if i'm particularly hungry yes i will eat the leg and the thigh okay uh to go along with that salad and that's a meal for me um for breakfast i can have bacon and egg whites uh, i don't eat the whole egg because the yolk makes me sick i cannot eat egg yolks so bacon and uh, cage-free liquid egg whites is a typical breakfast then if I want a snack I have some pork skins I have uh, a beef stick some almonds cashews sunflower seeds stuff like that those are things that I like anyway so um, eating those types of things is cool for me um, I may have a package you know how you can get those uh, packages you can just tear them open and eat the chunk chicken or the tuna right out of the package or whatever I may have something like that uh, I am quite fond of the Atkins um, protein rich shakes so I'll have those sometime like if I am just not hungry and I don't want to eat lunch I'll have the protein shake as a meal replacement and that works out really good for me and do I feel like this lifestyle is sustainable absolutely yes I definitely feel like I can do it for the rest of my life um, I'm not looking for super fast weight loss because I am a woman of a particular age so I can't afford to play around with my health and I'm not concerned with having the weight just melt off like water because I didn't put it on overnight. So I'm, I don't have to lose it overnight. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't have to lose it overnight because I didn't put it on overnight. Um, and this is something that I will stick with for the rest of my life. I pray about it <laughs> and I ask God to help me. Uh, God is concerned about everything that we are concerned about. So I definitely go to the Lord for my strength. Uh, and he has been keeping me strong. And I know that I'm going to be successful. I don't consider this a diet because I'm not doing it just to lose weight. I'm doing it to adopt a healthy lifestyle. I go to health. Uh, I'm sorry. I go to fast food restaurants, but I make healthy choices when I go to fast food restaurants. I have a salad and uh the grilled chicken breast on the salad instead of the breaded chicken breast on the salad um or if i do get a burger because i'll go to a restaurant and get a burger i'm not gonna eat the bun i'm gonna throw the bread away and i'm gonna eat the bun and the lettuce and the pickle and tomato and everything else that come on it but i'm not gonna eat that bread okay if i want french fries i took my daughter to mcdonald's today and she got french fries i told her give me two french fries baby and i ate those little two french fries and i was perfectly cool like my desire for french fries was gone with those two little french fries so that is absolutely what i'm doing uh i'm really not really um i'm not very creative and uh i'm not into like looking up the recipes and making the keto meals and all of that i just like to keep it really really simple um uh, but if you all are interested in seeing what I eat or what I buy when I go to the grocery store, leave me a comment in the comment section. And I definitely will share those things. Like I said, it's not very exciting. <laughs> it's not very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm just not creative like that because I don't really love to cook. Big as I am, I mean, I just don't love to cook. I'm not a, a, a person that just loves to be in the kitchen. I'm not. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> 
that is about it ladies uh let me just tell you we can do all things through christ who strengthens us okay uh god like i said is concerned about everything that's concerned that's concerning to us so our weight loss our hair our skin everything the least little bitty things your teeth all of those things concern god just because they concern you so don't be afraid to say hey lord i'm trying to lose some weight and i need help <laughs> father god i need your help oh i'm sorry if y'all heard that truck but yeah don't be afraid to pray about it okay tell the lord lord i can't do this on my own i've tried a million times and failed i need your help so that is about it if you have any questions or concerns uh Leave them down in the comment section, and I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. Mwah! Be beautiful, divas.